Yo, yo, what's happening, guys? So um, the table showed up on Monday. They said it'd be here, showed up. Uh, Freight brought it in, this giant box with like 420 pounds. Somehow we got it in the garage um, using a, using one of the jacks. Got it all taken apart. And then uh, uh, yesterday I started putting it together. And then I woke up this morning and finished it up. My wife had to help me with a little part because I couldn't, couldn't get the gantry on in a, uh, properly. So this is the four by four Eastwood VersaCut table, the CNC plasma table. Um, I bought the version with the CNC Cut 40, the, the, the specific CNC Cut 40 for this plasma table. Um, my plans are not to do like super thick metal and real heavy shakes. I'm moving everything around by myself. So quarter inch thick would be the thickest I would ever cut. And I'm sure this will do it just fine. I have a prime weld 50 with a hand torch and it cuts through quarter inch like nothing. So as long as you keep your consumables nice and clean and changed out and a um, few other things, it, it, it's not a problem at all. So. Um, I'll just do a quick walk around, show you guys what it looks like all put together, um, kind of give you some specifics on how big it is. Um, it's not, they have different dimensions on uh, the website for how much space it takes up. And it's, it's not a huge difference, but it takes up about like six inches less one way and about four inches less the other way. So um, I'll do a quick walk around and kind of show you what I did real quick. Um, there's some things that I, I'm going to be adding to it and doing some other stuff over time. <clears throat> Excuse me, but um, uh, I just got to put together and I'm pretty pumped to get, get started using it. So um, first thing I got to do, obviously, is get some fluid. Uh, second thing I got to do is um, uh, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and get the Fusion 360 here probably like tomorrow or the next day and um, start studying up on that more. I'm sure there's, you know, YouTube University probably teach me how to do everything I want to know how to do. Um, so I'm going to be doing that, but I'm going to practice um, with my settings on uh, this over here. I'll show you when we get over there, but the, the control center over here has a bunch of built-in shapes and everything. So if you know, if you look at your, your booklet and you, your, your instruction manual and you know what settings everything should be on, you can already start practicing on it, if, even if you don't have uh, Fusion 360. So there's like 50 different shapes already built into it. So I plan on learning the settings for different thicknesses of steel and different sizes and different things. Um, you know, different shapes with different curves and everything on it. Uh, start practicing doing that as soon as possible. So I will have a better idea of when I get into like, doing some custom work that I'm not gonna be, you know, ruining everything that I, I start on. So that's the plan. Um, I'll do a quick walk around with the camera and kind of just show you up close what everything looks like so you can kind of see the quality of it. Um, everything was machined perfectly. So I've had a lot of stuff I've bought and put together, um, everything from roof racks on a truck to um, you know things like that, whatever it is. Uh, but it's sometimes when you buy certain products, you get things and they nothing lines up properly. <coughs> Excuse me, nothing lines up properly. The threads are all stripped out. Um, they just everything you know you got to drill out holes because certain things won't fit through them. All that stuff is annoying. There was not one piece on this that didn't fit absolutely perfectly when I got it put together. Um, the only complaint I had was a real simple one. And there was two when I, I actually called Eastwood this morning. Um, I told them I was missing these uh, little guide, um, these little guide deals that stop the crane from going too far one way. Turns out I just misplaced it in a bag somewhere and I found it. But the one thing that I was missing was just some pre-installed hardware that was not there um, that to hold this 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 box in place. So I already I had some extras laying around, so I went ahead and just put them in there. So they're holding it up just fine. But anyway, that's the only complaint I had coming off the bat. Um, obviously without any usage yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick walk around and just show you what I what I did so far. All right, so what I figured out was this thing takes up about 68 inches by about 66 inches. Um, that's counting the overhang with the control box right there and everything like that. And then also there's little, these, these guides here, they will hit this back here and they'll stop, but anyway. Um, all the wiring on this thing was freaking awesome. Like it's so simple, easy hookups. Um, I think I do one handed, we'll see. Yeah, so you line, they're all unique. So each one will only go into one spot. And once you get it in there, you click and it's set. So you don't have to worry about it anymore. Really liking these slats. These things are super heavy duty. Hopefully they'll last quite a while. Um, I think replacements are not super expensive, but I don't want to have to keep replacing stuff like that too much. <clears throat> I'm going to order some fluid tonight, get it set up here, and then uh, start, like I said, practicing my cuts. So I went ahead and got the machine torch attachment. I didn't want to mess with uh, my hand, uh, hand torch. Plus my plasma cutter that I've already got will not work on this one. You have to have a specific uh, frequency of start, and mine does not have the specific frequency of start. I think it's too high. So 
anyway, there's your little, there's all your, I think it's everything that's super important is right there. And here is the control panel. Um, all these functions and everything will be, you know, I'll figure out how to use everything here pretty soon. But I've seen the, on their website, the shapes that you can utilize and then you, you set, do all your settings in there and, and good to go. But here's a little, little plasma, little CNC plasma cutter, the, the cut 40 Versa, Versa cut 40, sorry. Um, feels pretty good. Uh, it's not, my other one's super light too. This one's not super heavy, but, um, I'm looking forward to seeing how well it cuts only being 40 amp. My other one's 50 amp and I, there's not a, no issues cutting anything. More of the wiring over here. Everything is real simple, all unique to itself. And then over here as well. <clears throat> Get this thing filled up and I'll start cutting, but everything's super nice. Uh, all the machining, like I was saying, even on these teeth are like super sharp. And there was <laughs> one of the things I was gonna do, sorry, I'm walking around. One of the things I couldn't quite figure out when I was getting everything put together, also, this is real nice. When I was getting everything put together, I was having a spot here where it was bumping and I couldn't get figured out. Well, I ended up figuring out that I had these rubber caps guarding those, guarding those teeth right there. And so just popped them off and it, it literally fit like a glove is awesome. So anyways, that's just a quick walk around of what I've done. All I did was put it together, get some things wired up, haven't even turned it on yet. Um, there's a couple things I have to do before I can, um, but I'm looking forward to doing that. So that's my introduction to the table. Um, I just got just finished it up. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon here on uh, Tuesday afternoon. I think it's the 24th or something like that of April. But um, I will get to get to working on this thing pretty soon. I got to work on this this smoker right here. I don't know if you guys didn't see it or not. This 250 gallon tank. Whoops. Go over here. I've already got the doors and everything, and the hinges already put on it. Uh, I'm a little limited in space right here, uh, but what I'm doing now is I'm, today, the rest of the day, I'm gonna make a pile of all the shit I wanna get rid of and put it out front, and then I'm gonna get a trailer and go, just go get rid of everything. There's so much just crap that accumulates in a garage, and when I'm working in here, I, my space is super limited already, so I gotta get rid of that stuff, but that's the plan to, to get to work on that the rest of this week. Order, um, I'm gonna order my air filter for this. I'm gonna order some fluid for this, um, get it filled up, and then a couple other little things, and then, um, like I said, I'm going to get on that the control module right there on that panel right there. And I'm just going to figure out exactly, um, try to like dial in my settings on different thicknesses of steel and all that kinds of stuff. So I got to go to the metal store, metal shop here pretty soon, get, um, a couple things to finish this smoker up with. And then, uh, I have some scrap laying around too, some three sixteenths. So kind of start with three sixteenths and go from there. So, um, you got any questions about this thing? I don't have a lot of answers yet but I will. Um, there's not a whole lot of videos. I haven't found any videos on this, uh, this plasma table at all. Everything's Langmeyer out there or some other brands of other ones that are just too expensive for me. So, um, maybe one of these days I'll be there, but right now I'm, I'm really happy with the purchase I made. Um, people ask, I did have a couple friends ask me how much it was. And I was like, well, it's kind of deceiving. You see the website says 41.99, then you got to pay shipping and then you got to pay for tax. Okay. So with 41.99, yeah, it will come in just under um, five thousand dollars. So you're going to be into it for five grand. Um, I put three grand down. I'm doing like one seventy five a month, I think, for for twelve months maybe, and I just plan on making money with it. So uh, I'm going to open up a whole new aspect of my business with this thing, um, as far as uh, uh, what I can do uh, for my own work, as far as building hinges, uh, counterweight systems, all that kind of stuff. But I also have a lot of friends and my wife. They're they're artists, and I want to help create their art and some of my own stuff um through the table making metal for people you know everything from address signs to bar signs to uh, business signs everything i could possibly do i want to start pumping things out of this thing so you're going to start seeing a lot of content of me using this thing and trying to show you guys that it, how well it works and maybe it won't work well i'll tell you that too so anyways you'll get an unbiased opinion from me um like i said i'm not of course i'm not sponsoring anybody from anybody so uh, not there at this point and i just want to use it make some money and show you all how well it works so um if you like what you're seeing like subscribe tell your friends and there'll be more barbecue content uh i'm gonna do some food truck content and then i'm gonna be uh rocking this thing out see how well it works so hope it help you make a decision with your own uh plasma table needs so thanks